short. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Super Bowl 56 in Los Angeles. I'm Bonnie Jarrett from the NFL. It is wonderful to see everybody here in person today. Today, we are pleased to share with you several important developments in the NFL's efforts to fight criminal enterprises that are preying on NFL fans and their enthusiasm for the game by trafficking and counterfeit merchandise and tickets, including the counterfeit NFL merchandise you see here below the stage today. The NFL is fortunate to have the support of both federal and state law enforcement agencies here in Los Angeles. Joining us today to speak about Operation Team Player, a nationwide law enforcement effort to disrupt the sale of counterfeit sports merchandise and tickets are Steve Francis, Homeland Security Investigations Executive Associate Director, Pete Flores, Executive Assistant Commissioner for US Customs and Border Protection, Lieutenant G Jeff Diedrich of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Counterfeiting and Piracy Enforcement Team, and my colleague Mike Buckwald from the NFL. Our message to NFL fans today is simple. Watch out for criminals who are looking to scam consumers and illegally profit off the popularity of the NFL, your favorite team, and the Super Bowl. Don't put yourself at risk. Buy authentic NFL merchandise and tickets from established retailers and trusted sources. Beware of phony online ads for products and tickets, whether they're on websites, social media, or marketplace listings. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And be on the lookout for red flags, like misspellings and missing contact information on websites. Many of these unscrupulous online operators not only sell counterfeit products, but also may steal your financial information. Counterfeiting crimes don't only prey on the fans, but also hurt the local businesses and the legitimate retailers and companies who support the local economy and play by the rules. Over the last several decades and leading up to this Super Bowl 56, the NFL has worked to give its fans an authentic NFL experience and protect them from the sale of counterfeit merchandise and tickets through civil enforcement efforts and through close collaboration with law enforcement, including the agencies here on stage. We are pleased to report that the NFL has once again obtained a civil court order to assist in the immediate seizure of counterfeit NFL merchandise and counterfeit tickets discovered in the Los Angeles area. Protecting NFL fans around the country and the globe continues to be a top priority, not only during this week's Super Bowl events, but year round. For example, over the last year alone, the NFL enforced against hundreds of thousands of counterfeit e-commerce listings, ads, sites, and sellers. The NFL remains committed to a broad range of consumer protection measures, both on the ground and online. And now I'll turn it over to my colleague, Mike, Michael Buckwald, to discuss our efforts to prevent the sale of counterfeit tickets. Thank you, Bonnie. Combating ticketing fraud is a prior priority for the NFL. The NFL has devoted significant resources to providing our fans several options to securely purchase tickets to NFL games, including the Super Bowl. A prime example of these efforts is the establishment of the NFL Ticket Network in 2018. This network of ticket resale sites employs technological measures to definitively verify the authenticity of NFL tickets sold via each participating platform. The NFL Ticket Network currently consists of the Ticketmaster NFL Ticket Exchange, the official ticket exchange of the NFL, StubHub, and SeatGeek. In a continuing effort to reduce ticket fraud and provide our fans a seamless ticketing experience, Super Bowl 56 tickets will be all digital. Hard stock or paper tickets will not be sold for Super Bowl 56. We encourage all ticket holders to download the NFL Ticket Holder app to access their tickets, and then to add their tickets to their phone's Apple Wallet or to the Google Pay app for quick and easy access on game day. Authentic tickets may also be rendered through the applications of Ticketmaster, StubHub, and SeatGeek. Please note that screenshots of tickets, PDF printouts of tickets, or anything else purporting to be a digital or hard stock uh, ticket for Super Bowl 56 will not be valid. To help protect yourself from the inadvertent purchase of fraudulent tickets, 
buy only from reliable, reputable sources, like the ticket exchange, on location, or other ticket resale sites in the NFL ticket network, or established ticket retailers uh, that you can trust. Do not buy tickets from unreliable sources, whether online, outside the stadium, or elsewhere, that will leave you open to fraud. Always use a credit card or other secure form of payment. Avoid cash transactions, which are risky and untraceable. If ordering through mobile or online, ensure that the site offers a fully secure ordering process and protects your personal information. And be wary of tickets that are advertised at a price below market value or that appear too good to be true. Again, as Bonnie said, our message is simple. Don't put yourself at risk. Watch out for criminals who are looking to scam you. And please buy tickets only from reliable sources. We'd now like to invite Steve Francis, IPR Center Director, to tell us about Operation Team Player. Uh, thank you, Michael. Good morning, everyone. It's my distinct pleasure uh, to be joined here today by my, by my law enforcement colleagues, CBP, EAC, Mr. Pete Flores, and Lieutenant Diedrich from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And of course, a sincere thank you to the NFL colleagues for their partnership and support to Homeland Security Investigations. I would be remiss if I did not recognize the cadre of federal, state, local, and law enforcement officers who continue to work around the clock to make this event safe, enjoyable, and a memorable experience. What an exciting week it's been here in Los Angeles as we open our doors to football fans from around the world for Super Bowl 56. What are the chances that the host city's team is playing in the Super Bowl two years in a row? It's quite amazing. With the kickoff now just less than four days away, fans are eager to support their home team and spend their hard earned money on apparel, memorabilia, or last minute tickets, sometimes lured by a great deal that may be too good to be true. I stand here representing Homeland Security Investigations, which leads the National Intellectual Property Rights Coordination Center with our 28 interagency partners and our extremely supportive private sector partnerships there. The center stands at the U.S. government's response to intellectual property theft and the enforcement of its international trade laws. The workforce at the center are laser focused on ensuring consumer confidence and protecting the sanctity of the legitimate supply chains. Make no mistake, the illicit importation manufacture and sale of counterfeit goods and pirated content violates the copyrights and trademarks of rights holders and without a doubt pose a national security and economic security uh, issue. Local proprietors who conduct business within the confounds of the law cannot compete with those who have no standard to uphold and with those who sell subpar, unlicensed and unregulated, untaxed products, all peddled with one goal, to make more money as, as much as possible, regardless of the quality or customer satisfaction. Operation Team Player was established as a central component of HSI's IP enforcement operations. Developed by the IPR Senator, cracked down on the legal importation of counterfeit sports apparel and merchandise. Created not only to protect consumers, but to provide equal protection to the legitimate business owners. Throughout the year, personnel operating Operation Team Player have worked diligently to identify illicit supply chains, distributors, and resellers. And I'm extremely proud of their success. This year alone, we have seized over 267,000 items with an MSRP of almost $97.8 million. Fake jerseys, hats, t-shirts, jackets, and other souvenirs are among the counterfeit merchandise and clothing confiscated by a team of HSI special agents working alongside Customs and Border Protection and the Sheriff's Department and our trusted other law enforcement partners. Don't be fooled. Intellectual property theft is not a victimless crime. The illicit proceeds resulting from the sale of counterfeit or unlicensed products are more often than not funneled back to support other criminal organizations. But more importantly, the illegal manufacture and sale of these counterfeit goods represent predatory trade practices that endanger the public health and economy and restrict competitiveness of the United States products in the global market. On behalf of the dedicated personnel from HSI and the IPR Center, I commit to you that our efforts will not stop after this game. Our fight continues 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Thank you again for this opportunity. And now it's my honor to introduce to you Executive Assistant Commissioner Pete Flores. Uh, 
Well, good morning. It's great to be here um, and be a partner in this IPR enforcement efforts. Uh, as mentioned earlier, this is a, truly a team, a team a partnership and the collaboration that really makes this happen. CBP is honored to be collaborating with the far reaching network of law enforcement partners, public safety agencies and stakeholders represented here today. Right now, CBP teams, CBP teams are working diligently to secure behind the scenes uh, to make the Super Bowl safe and secure. When it comes down to security and safety, consumers should not forget about intellectual property rights. As part of our broad and diverse mission, CBP is charged with authority to target and seize imports of counterfeit and pirated goods from entering the United States. As thousands of fans arrive in California for Super Bowl 56, CBP is committed to supporting efforts enforcing the nation's intellectual property rights. Intellectual property enforcement is key effort in protecting the health and safety of American consumers, protecting the economy and legitimate business, and tackling domestic and international criminal organizations. CBP is on the front lines of enforcing IPR, most visibly by seizing products which infringe on trademarks, copyrights, and patents. Around the United States, NFL fans and sports enthusiasts are purchasing Super Bowl products, sports memorabilia, and wearing their favorite team's jerseys. However, many consumers may be unaware of online vendors who are selling counterfeit versions of genuine NFL merchandise. The knockoffs are of poor quality and many times contain harmful chemicals. The theft of inter intellectual property and trade in fake goods threaten America's economic vitality, national security, and the American people's health and safety. In fiscal year 2021, CBP made over 27,000 IPR seizures worth an estimated $3.3 billion if the goods had been genuine. At our LA field office, CBP officers and import specialists processed over 600 IPR seizures, totaling over $51 million domestic value and over $1 billion in MSRP. Recently, the Long Beach Seaport had two counterfeit seizures totaling $1.5 million. Ensuring consumers are purchasing authentic and safe products is important. But one other critical layer is how each seizure prevents transnational criminal organizations from profit and using that profit for sales to channel further production of fake goods and illicit activities. The profits could be used for a number of activities, human trafficking, trafficking of firearms, narcotic smuggling, promoting terrorist organizations, and the list goes on and on. Simply put, Due to the valiant efforts of our workforce, TCOs are not able to recap or reap the benefits to fund other parts of their organization. With that, I'd like to take a moment to express my deep appreciation for the incredible workforce. Every day they serve with honor, integrity, to target, examine, and partner with industry professionals to identify counterfeit goods. I'd also like to thank our partners here Together, we are able to fill our mission, fulfill our mission and ensure time-honored events like the Super Bowl are safe and secure. Thank you. Over. Lieutenant. Good morning. First of all, thank you to the NFL for having us here today. And the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is committed to keeping you safe while visiting Los Angeles County and attending any of the amazing events during the Super Bowl. In addition to the hundreds of Los Angeles County Deputy Sheriffs who will be deployed in and around the stadium during the game, Sheriff Villanueva directed the Sheriff's Department's special counterfeit and piracy enforcement team to be a part of this project. The CAPE team is one of the premier teams in the country and is at the forefront of counterfeit enforcement in Los Angeles. We will not tolerate those who victimize fans by selling fake merchandise and, and tickets. 
We recognize the fans are spending their hard-earned money and expect to have an authentic product, and we will work diligently to ensure that happens. We are very proud to work with our federal partners from Homeland Security Investigations and Custom and Border Protection. These partnerships lead to tremendous success. Also, we value our public and private partnerships with the NFL and Heather Holdridge from Brand Security Corporation. These partnerships are what leads to taking these counterfeit products out of the marketplace, thus enhancing public safety, public health, and the quality of life in the community. Millions of dollars worth of counterfeit merchandise from over 261 vendors have already been recovered because of our collective efforts. Everything from counterfeit lithium batteries, auto parts, flea collars for animals, motorcycle helmets, and sports apparel have been seized. Since the middle of January, over $5 million worth of counterfeit products have, have been removed from the marketplace with our team. Counterfeits do not, or counterfeiters, excuse me, do not discriminate between brands and types of products, which is why a consistent effort with this collaboration must be made across all product categories, including sports brands like the NFL. Legitimate distributors, retailers, and other partners working with authentic brands and doing it right to ensure the consumer gets the top-of-the-line product, they lose significant business, and it's a significant loss to the community. So we're proactively checking areas such as swap meets, pop-up tents, and online marketplaces such as OfferUp, where consumers are likely to be scammed into buying counterfeit merchandise and tickets. Remember, carefully inspect your merchandise. Look for the official holograms and logos of the NFL. And as my partner stated earlier, there are many ways to find a counterfeit. Sometimes it's obvious, but sometimes it's not. And so our work collect collectively and collaboratively is to remove even the best of the counterfeits from the marketplace so our fans here in Los Angeles County do not get ripped off. So what are we doing between now and the Super Bowl? Our teams are out there as we're standing here today looking throughout Los Angeles County for counterfeit products to remove them. We have uniform deputies who are visible to deter the sales of counterfeit products and the CAPE team will deploy from today throughout the Super Bowl game in plainclothes capacity along with our federal partners, ensuring that any time a counterfeit a vendor pops up that they will be um, addressed. We are also going to be working jointly at the conclusion of the Super Bowl in finding where these sources are, um, identifying if it's an outside or foreign source who are bringing and bringing these products in domestically. So what can you do? First of all, avoid these online sellers from suspicious sites. Use the sites that you know are true and verify them. Avoid purchasing tickets. As you've heard, all the tickets this year are digital. There are no tickets being sold outside the stadium or on the adjacent streets. So do not purchase a ticket in and around the stadium. It is counterfeit. As Bonnie said earlier, if it, the deal is too good to be true, it is. And we are working diligently with Custom and Border Protection, Homeland Security, the NFL, and Brand Security Corporation to ensure that every product the fans buy with their hard-earned money is authentic. And we're committed to do that throughout the Super Bowl and beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Steve. We are so appreciative of all of your hard work and partnership with us. Um, we would like to thank everyone for attending our press conference today. And once again, we'd like to remind fans, remain vigilant. Don't put yourself at risk. Buy merchandise and tickets from trusted and reputable sources. And above all, enjoy the game on this Sunday. Thank you.